In his New Year address to Nigerians, President Mohamed Buhari listed road infrastructure as one of the major areas of his administration's focus this year. He stated the effect this will have on the people and the economy of the country and assured Nigerians that in terms of road construction and rehabilitation, there are better days ahead. What are the plans by the ministry to ensure that this becomes a reality? These are roads that we want to use to drive the economy. And what are the drivers of the economy? And it is those drivers of the economy that inform the choices that we have made. So we have roads that we have classified into priorities based on where the economy should be going. We want to move food. We have an agro program. Okay? And therefore, we have asked the Ministry of Agri, give us the roads that go to your big agro production centers, where the largest tonnage of food is coming from. And you will see those roads um, in this agricultural area from the northwest, from the north central, from the southwest, from the east, northeast, uh, north central, south south, southeast. And you will see that the grain producing areas of the northwest Kanu Zaria area to Kebi are already covered. So that's where the bulk of the grains, wheat, and all of that is coming from. If you look at the north central, Abakli, Keafiku, Enugu, Nightmare, those are the rice producing areas in the eastern part of the country. And the cocoa and all of those uh, cash crops areas of the south, southwest. As you will see also, the places, roads leading to places like Numan, Jalingo, that is, those are roads that link you towards one of Nigeria's most prolific agro base in Taraba. So there's a method to this. If you also look at the roads that we have chosen as priority, they cover the entire spectrum of the country. And this reinforces the point that I was, ma I was making, that there is no state where we are not impacting you, none. So if you go in any circular from all the way around, you will see that whether it is in the northwest, north central, or southwest, or whether it is in the northeast, north central, or southeast, the state, the, the country is covered. Now these are the roads that carry some of the heaviest traffic. If you look at them closely, and I've spoken to some of them, Adeja Nguru Gashua, uh, the Kanu Maiduguri, Kanu Western Bypass, Kanu Katsina, Sokoto Tambua, Abuja Lokoja, uh, Zaria Funtua, uh, Maiduguri Bama, Goza Road, and so on and so forth. Lagos Ibadan, Obajana Bini, that's where most of the cement and all of that. So this is, if we fix this road, and we are working on all these roads that you see, there's a contractor working in one section or the other. Then in the south of this, these are, you will see the word mine, mine roads. These are the roads that lead to border towns in the south. Mine is the acronym for Made in Nigeria for Export. And those roads, again, are consistent with what the president, the vice president, and the government as a whole has been saying, made in Nigeria, by made in Nigeria. Then there's made in Nigeria for export. So these roads are not roads to nowhere. They're not roads that are dropped out of everybody, anybody's head. We need energy. We need to supply petrol. And so if you look again, you will see that we have looked at roads that go to critical NMPC depots. So this is the one that goes to the Kaduna. This is the Mina. This is the uh, Agai Kachia Baru, Baru Road, NMPC depot in Ijibu, Tinkan Island, uh, Apapa Oshodi, uh, Wari Refinery. These are the roads. And of course, Bodo Boni Bridge. So those are the energy uh, strongholds in terms of gas, petrol, and so on and so forth, and the ports from which they are moved. 
Those are the roads, again, we target as a priority. So there's a strategy to this, and contrary to the often generalized belief there's no plan, we don't see a plan, this is the plan. This is the program that implements the economic recovery and growth plan on the road network side. The Ministry of Power, Works and Housing has mapped out seven priority areas of focus for road construction and rehabilitation between 2017 and 2019. These priority areas will receive immediate attention within this period. Some of these priority projects include agriculture, power, education, etc. With good roads linking these projects, moving goods and services from where they are produced to Nigerians will be much easier, which will translate to ease of doing business and a better life for Nigerians. Okay, we've spoken about some of those priorities, energy, agri, export. There are also roads that uh, are within the universities. Those are interventions for federal universities. Their road network we think is important. It's part of the investment in education. Just like we have something to do with energy in, 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 in universities, that's an investment in education. So also contrary to the generalization that the education investment does not meet global standard benchmark. All of the education, all of the investment in education don't go to the teaching and classroom alone. There are other infrastructure that support education, that aggregate, and those can be put in the Ministry of Education. They're put in other departments of, of government where they, they, they should be implemented. Um, the strategy for delivering some of these roads vary. Some come directly from budgetary provision. Some come from special borrowing uh, uh, um, initiatives by the Ministry of Finance, uh, such as the Kusukuk that uh, we took, uh, 100 billion naira, to intervene on 25 routes within that A1 to A9, because those are the real spine of the entire network. So, and as I've said, if you now go to places like uh, the Bini Okene Road, Lokoja to Abuja, uh, Enugu Portakot, um, Ilori Oyo, Obumosho, Ilori Jeba, uh, Kanu Meduguri, you will find those are the roads where you will see signboards of Sukuk. Those, those are essentially part of that network where the Sukuk is targeted. Before now, federal road contractors were abandoning site and laying off workers because of non-payment by government. Thousands of Nigerians lost their jobs and road journey experience from any point in the country to another was froth with bad roads. Now contractors that were owed for years have been paid. I want to inform you that this government have made a commitment of close to 3 trillion naira to the road sector. Our contractors are back on site. Persons, trades, businesses have returned consequent upon this investment by the federal government. So all our sites are active, all our contractors are back, all the staffs are being re-engaged and even more. A lot of businesses have sprung up around those um, construction sites. Quarry, sale of cement, wire rods, and a lot of other services. Now, remotely linked to it is trade. Person selling food, person providing some small services around the construction sites. These are increasing businesses consequent upon the investment of government in that. Now, funding of these projects have also been a little bit diversified in the sense that persons are encouraged to come and look at a particular component of a road infrastructure and invest in it and they get paid using tax credits. We have also now looked at another funding system and we have floated the Sukuk bond for 100 billion which was oversubscribed to the tune of 105 plus billion which is the first in the history. It tells you two things 
the confidence of people in our economy, the confidence of people in the government, the confidence of people and companies and entities in the institution of the federal government of Nigeria today under the leadership of our principal, President Mahmoud Buhari, GCFR. So this is novel. The money generated to date, the drawdown is about 57 billion. When we came in, we found out that uh, as of 2015, uh, what was budgeted for the uh, road infrastructure in the country was all in all about, uh, I think, 18 billion. For 2016, the ministry got about 200 and something billion per road alone. That is uh, bearing in mind that uh, our uh, the oil price has dropped, but even with that, we are given about 290 something billion per road. The same thing in 2017. And to tell you, or to show you the importance Mr. President attached to uh, the uh, development of uh, road infrastructure because it is the only key to uh, national uh, development and growth.